Are you prepared for GST? Let's see. Meeting of Supply and GST. Supply includes all forms of supply of goods and services such as, they have defined, sale, transfer, barter, disposal, exchange, license, rental, lease, etc. etc. Besides these, anything else is also included because they have said that supply includes these uh, things such as, so even other things which are not covered here, they will be deemed as supply. This incidentally has been taken from Canadian GST because the, the same terms have been used in Canadian GST, GST in Canada. So these terms have been borrowed from there. Now, uh, all these things uh, supply whether it is made or agreed to be made. This is very important because even if the supply has not been made, but it is agreed to be made, that will also in some cases considered as supply. Now, uh, anything, any activity will be considered as supply if it is for consideration. Some money component is there, so that in that case it will be treated as supply. In some other cases, it will be deemed as supply even without consideration. But uh, now the basic definition which we are looking of supply, it says that some consideration should flow from the one person to the other, then only it will be supply. Supply by a person. Sub to be supply, it should be by a person. Obviously, it will not take place in uh, air. It, there has to be some person. So supply has to be by a person. But if you see the definition, it is not to a person. Now, how, what difference does that make? The difference is that even if the supply is to a different person obviously it is covered even if the supply is to the same person different units of the same person or entity even then it will be supplied so this is the import of this uh, the, the definition and the words not being used to a person so even if the supply is made by one unit or one entity of a business to another one even then it will be considered as a supply the uh, prime example being uh, a supply being made from one branch to the other or head office to the branch so even that will be considered a supply and the tax will have to be levied in that case and supply has to be in the course of business routine buying selling is there so it is to be in the course of business then it will be a supply or also in the case of furtherance of business even if you are making some supplies with consideration for furtherance of business when you go to some department store and there something is being offered to you at a concessional rate so it may not be for uh, the uh, in the course of business some new product has been launched it is for furtherance of the business even that will be considered as supply so please see what all items are being included in supply Even import of services is deemed as supply. Presently also you are aware that it is liable to reverse charge under service tax. So import of services is also deemed as supply. And whether or not consideration is there, please note very important that if you import some services, even without money, some services are being imported free or of cost even that will be considered as a supply whether or not it is for furtherance of business so even if the business component is not there if, even if it is not for furtherance of business even that import of services will be deemed as a supply day in day out we are downloading various apps from the google play store isn't it and most of them are free and if, uh, if uh, some amount is to be paid, generally we do not download. But as uh, and many of them are free, we have very uh, various free alternatives, and we download those. 
whether that will be treated as supply under GST? Yes, even that will be deemed as supply. So as we go on, you will understand, you will appreciate that generally everything has been put in GST. In the four corners of law, everything is there. Every product, every service is there. Probably some initial uh, exemption limit will be there. Up to some amount for personal services, it will not be taxable. But beyond that, even these things will be taxable. Hope you like the video. We are happy to inform you that Webtel with its experience in software development has now ventured into GSD e-learning. With the help of panel of experts, we have kept these modules simple for better understanding of not only professionals like you, but also your own staff or staff of your clients who do not get access to learning but are the ones who have to do the actual work following are the major topics which we will take up under GSD e-learning. Introduction of GST. Registration. Returns. Supply. Time of supply. Place of supply which will be very important. Payment. Refund. Industry-wise analysis and many more. Our panel of experts. Webtel GSD e-learning for subscription and free demo. Contact us.